92% of eBay sellers don't do this, but they really should. In fact, I believe if you've been selling on eBay for more than six months and have over 500 items in your store, not doing this will have a negative impact on your business. I tried it on my own eBay store and had two days worth of record sales. So it really does work. In this video, I'm gonna show you what it is, when you should do it, why you should do it, plus show you the results of my two day experiment and give you my thoughts on how it went. What I'm talking about here is running an aggressive store-wide sale for a selected time period. Over the past 48 hours, I ran a 40% off store-wide sale. I did this as a cash flow exercise, understanding that this is not a profit exercise. By putting a drastic discount across all inventory, it was my hope that I could clear out some old dormant stock that had been sitting around unsold in my inventory for years, and I was willing to risk the reduced sale price of some of my newer items as it was only going to last 48 hours. By doing this, I was hoping to see a significant increase in sales, and that was ultimately going to allow me with the cash flow to reinvest back into the business to buy better stock that will go on to sell for more money. So here's the results of the two days worth of sales. I was able to do $2,045, an uplift of 177% in sales. So this was a really significant increase, more than I've ever seen before. It was selling costs of 15.9%, so $325 does need to come out of that 2,000, uh, as well as the postage costs that I'll talk about in a little bit as well. 91 items were sold, 355% uplift, and the average sale price pretty typically dropping by 39% makes sense with a 40% off sale at $22.48. So if we have a look at some of the categories that went on to sell as well, uh, the movies, DVDs, TV shows, they're always going to be a big selling category for me. That is pretty consistent at 47 0.5%, we had $972 worth of DVDs. And then to be honest with you, all of the other sales categories are the typical sales categories in that same order to what it normally would be. So there was no real surprises there. Video games, action figures, shoes, and a bunch of Pokemon cards that we're able to sell as well. Well, this is all a little overwhelming to be fair. I've never actually had a situation where we've had 100 orders to complete in one session. So I've actually just got Courtney to go out and have a look for some uh, postage supplies. We just need to top up on a few things because we were kind of running low to begin with anyway. Um, so she's gone out to find a whole bunch of that. Uh, she's also going to go and get a lot of boxes as well because we've realized that quite a number of these orders, because they are multiple orders, uh, will need to fit into a box. So um, she's doing that as well. But I'll just give you a quick look at everything that we've got here um, to give you a look at those categories that we spoke of um, and, and just see the actual volume of what's come through. So as you can see, it's just a lot of DVDs there. We've actually just started to collate everything into the actual group order. And as you can see, there are a few multiple purchases. So um, this one here, multiple purchase of quite a number of video games. Uh, and then obviously uh, a big order there for Stacy. She's gonna get all of those DVDs there. So uh, we did sell The Simpsons. That was all 20 seasons of The Simpsons for $330. So happy to see that one go. Um, but then yeah, away from the, the DVD side of things, uh, we've just got a lot of like action figures. We had a big book sale of Lee Child, which is a good series set. Uh, a lot of hats are selling. Every single category that we sell has basically come through. Um, you'll see over here, we've just got a stack of video games that came through. Nothing too hectic in there. There wasn't any crazy sale price. Obviously the case for everything when you're doing 40% off, but um, they'll still go out and that was a good sale. Um, six uh, sh uh, pairs of shoes. And then we had a bunch of little bits and pieces there from an action figure sense. Uh, this Gengar as well sold for about $30, even with the discount. So all in all, a bunch of Pokemon cards coming through there. As you can see, we've got a lot to work through. Um, Courtney's gone and she's helping us out with, with more of that. Uh, we've got a few boxes over there ready to go with a couple of different hats that have sold. But this is going to be our entire day. There is a whole lot of work to get this out. So we're able to sell some decent stock, over 100 orders being shipped out on just one day. We usually typically get, for context, about 10 sales a day in our eBay store. So we're looking at a, a, a five times increase based on the fact that we had this sale. So there were some really good positive outcomes to come from it, obviously the turnover, but it was more so the turnover of the old inventory that we knew was just going to be sitting around for years on end if we didn't do anything about it. All right, I just wanted to show you guys these. We've just pulled them out. A um, couple of categories that... We sell regularly, but not really these sorts of items. Like I wouldn't buy these Nike tennis shoes. Um, we've had them sitting up in the, in the shoe tub for so, so long. Um, not sure what we ended up getting for them, but I'm just so excited to see that they're not now in the house. These high top vans, I don't really buy vans too much anymore either. 
Um, they were in great condition back in the day, a year, year and a half ago. I would have bought them, uh, but not now. So that was a really good couple of items to see come through. And then we sold a set of three of these fantastic four Funko Pops. Now, as a really good example, guys, we've got one, two, three, four, five. We did actually have three sales in total of the Funko Pops that came through over the weekend, but this is a category that I, I just want to see gone because even with a 40% off sale in this category, to only have three items sell just shows you how, I guess, dead of a category it is. They're not selling so well like they used to. And here we are with a bunch of old stock that we no longer need. So I might put another sale to try and clean out these because it's just a really, really, it's, it's been really tough. It's, it's a category that I wish we never put so much money into. But to see a couple of them come through in this sale, that was obviously another pleasing aspect. So um, with all of these items that we've got over here, there wasn't any big ticket stuff apart from the Simpsons selling for $330. That was really the only big guy. Um, all of the others with an average sale price of $22.50, that's not too much of a drop off on a normal average sale price of $32. Um, so I'm actually quite happy. These Merrells as well is another really good example of a, an item that I would still buy. Um, that sold for $60, those Merrells. Um, I had them priced up for $100. But if somebody wants to buy them you know, like that for $60, I only paid $15 in an op shop, so I'm still going to take it. Um, so there is still some profit out there, albeit as well, moving some old stuff that is ultimately the purpose of what we're doing. And a few of the other positives in there as well is there are so many big ticket items, some really high valued stock that had really significant markdowns that actually just didn't go on to sell. So it's not like I lost all of the fantastic inventory and the fantastic profit that I've got in a lot of these items. My store for context is over 2000 items. So to only actually go on to sell a hundred of them isn't actually a massive dent in my inventory numbers, but I was still able to turn over five times more than what I normally do in the same time period. Um, the other one as well is because you do a big sale uh, like that at 40%, people want to cash in. So they actually go ahead and they buy multiple quantities, which you saw earlier in this video. So that's a really big plus in the sense that all of these sale prices, while they are reduced, they're all going into the same mailbag and that obviously reduces your expense on a postage front. So I had more multi-quantity orders than I've ever had before in that selected time period. So that was another pleasing aspect as well. And I think you've got a, that one right there this, on your left. This one? Yep. All of these are our video games and our DVDs that are individual sales. So depending on the price, we'll determine upon which envelope we choose to put it in. Remember, we're running on tighter margins with the sale, so we really wanna maximize the return that we get in our pocket by doing our postage correctly. Um, so we've got these medium tracked envelopes as well, and Courtney's bought a few more today, and then we've got the untracked versions there. And our price point is gonna be, what do you reckon, $10? Oh, yeah. We might make it 15. Fifteen dollars. So if anything is fifteen or less, it's going to go untracked. And if it's fifteen or more, we're going to put it into one of these envelopes. So we sorted through them all now. So we've got twenty that will be untracked, so fifteen and below, and then thirteen tracked envelopes, so fifteen and over. It's not too bad. So all of these selling for over fifteen dollars, yep. and then all of these coming under less than fifteen, which to be honest is expected. A lot of these games were priced out around the fifteen to twenty dollars initially. Uh, so that brings it under 15. So we'll go ahead and we'll use our envelopes here. And uh, yeah, we'll get these ones as the first job of the day, get these ones out. So by the time we were able to get through all of that post, it worked out to a spend of $707. So if we have a look at the cash flow of our total sales, minus the postage, minus those eBay fees, we've ended up profiting or getting at least, not profit actually, we're getting cash flow. That's the big thing here, $1,013. So that's a thousand bucks that we didn't have beforehand. And from that, I can actually go out now and spend a thousand dollars on better quality stock. Uh, I, can, I can pay myself if I want want to. I think this is a really good thing if you've got potentially some upcoming bills or unexpected payments. Um, that could be a really good opportunity for you to run this sort of a sale in your eBay business. Um, public holiday is when I actually ran the sale. That's a really good time to structure, uh, I guess, a scheduled date. Um, had a, having it being a public holiday on Monday, there was a lot of people at home, a lot of people able to be on their phones purchasing goods. So it was a really strategic time uh, that I chose to run the sale as well. Uh, and then I think it's probably something you guys should consider to do maybe once a quarter, maybe four times a year, run this sort of a sale. 
Um, or like I said, if there's any obviously unexpected events that you need some instant cash for. So I think this is a really powerful thing that we can do. It's a very simple process. If you're unfamiliar with how to run a promotion on eBay, it's literally just a few clicks and, and you'll be able to find a YouTube video that could teach you how to do it. But um, I, I think you should definitely do it. I don't think you should be scared about it. I think it is really just a mindset change. Uh, to know that you're in this not from a profit perspective, but more of a cash flow perspective. And it is only for 48 hours, 24 hours, whatever you want to make it run for. Um, but let me know. I'd love to hear in the comments if you've done this sort of thing before. Like I said, 92% of the people that had tried this, or, or at least I positioned this to uh, on my YouTube channel, um, there was a good 300 people that voted and 92% said that they'd never done a 40% discounted sale. So um, I know a lot of you guys out there are watching this going, well, that was interesting. I, I personally never experienced it before to know what sort of results would be. So hopefully you got some value uh, out of these findings. It's something that I'm going to continue to do uh, every couple of months. I think it was a really positive thing for the store. It's cleaned out a lot of stock and I'm off to Canberra uh, this Friday. That was the whole reason to do this sale because I'm off to Canberra. Uh, I've got an opportunity to buy quite a lot of stock and actually build a relationship with a supplier uh, potentially for the next few months. So um, really pleasing to have been able to have this success. I've got a thousand bucks now that I can ca uh, take down to Canberra and, uh, and really cash in on better quality stock. That's what I'll be doing with the money. So hopefully you've enjoyed the video, guys. Uh, appreciate you being here. Look forward to seeing you soon.